Hello world, I'm Johnny Little Toe, and I am with Alex Little Toe, I guess we're calling you. <laughs> Still nobody. I am here with Still Nobody. Very good. Oh, yeah. right, we're back to playing Dear es es Esther. I think they know that. Well... If they can't tell, they probably read the video description or title. Well, maybe it just, like, popped up while they were watching another video, and YouTube was like... Here, watch this next automatically. And, and they probably next. already skipped it by now. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> We're entertaining people. For sure. Just just stick to your illusions. My, my, <laughs> my illusions? <laughs> Am I creating this idea that we are entertaining? No, you're creating the idea that we have viewers. I do have viewers. Thank you very much. If you have viewers, I have viewers now. Yep. So. Well, yes. I'm pretty sure there is something in that one one thingy because it's so far away from the other ones. And no, I couldn't go near them. 720. This still looks amazing. Well, what did you expect? It's Esther. There must be a hole in the bottom of the boat. How else could new hermits have arrived? What hermits? Are you, is he talking about like people or crabs? It's hermit crabs. I mean, it's yeah. a it's a thing. You know what hermits are? It's people, or what? Don't. No. If, oh. If I did, I wouldn't wouldn't have asked. But it's. Oh hey hey hey! Look, be, no, the other way, behind you, the direction you haven't looked. Right there. Oh. Well, that's that's odd. Well, it's probably that white land base that we're talking about. No, that doesn't make sense. There would have been multiple, multiple yeah. lines then. I don't think that that few people are dying here. But still, remember? Remember the crack? And the tree? And the penis? With the acid from the tree? Honestly, I actually forgot about that. It works! <laughs> hey, I always run into those stupid fences that look like weeds. Like okay, so there must be a hole in the bottom of the boat. So we have to go to the water, right? But I can't. It's like an invisible border on the rocks. It's not an invisible border. People just can't get past rocks. Yeah, it's but nature. they can, like... It's nature. People are stupid. But how, how do we get, like, to the bottom of the boat, then? Like, if it doesn't land on this side. But, but we can't jump. Well, let's look for an opening. Like, maybe this? Maybe in there where you felt safe before. No, so we can't we can't go in there. Yeah. Oh, we can probably go into that one and then get onto the ship. This one? No. Right, this this to the left. It's a box. It's too shallow. Did you just hear that? Yep. Is it like a zombie pushing stuff around? <laughs> no, it was probably the water affecting the... It's a zombie pushing boxes! I swear! Yeah, it could also be the sound of a giant metal boat. Well, I, I can't get on there. Oh, there you go. Half. Where? Half. Yeah, I do. There? Right there. But... But there was a hole in the bottom of the boat. Yeah. So... He was just explaining things. It was exposition. That's just stupid. <laughs> it's like reading a book and something happens. Then I say that's stupid too. Reading stupid? Maybe. We have to leave that boat behind. Like, I really wanted to go into that scary thing. Like, because I totally wouldn't have been scared. Like, at all. I began to wonder if Donkey's voyage here was as prosaic as it was presented. How disappointed not to have found the bones of the holy man. No wonder he hated the inhabitants so. To him, they must have seemed like barnacles mindlessly clinging to a mercy seat. Why cling so hard to the rock? 
because it is the only thing that stops us from sliding into the ocean. Into oblivion. We're gonna play Oblivion now? Well, oh, I like the like... I like the game, but wait, wait, what? Which so you one? have two ways to go: up or keep going. Let's keep going because I don't want to have like I hate going uphill. Uh, There's something blinking there. You see that? Yeah, a buoy. Oh. Well, that we saw a blinking thing. That's. Oh, is that a boat? I don't know. I don't want to know. It's like zombie boat. Zombie boat. <laughs> I feel at this point you're just trying to make this game a scary game when it's... It's a scary game. If it's supposed to be a horror game, then you know something's gonna happen eventually. Or not. But if it doesn't, then you'll have the illusion that something will happen all the time, so you'll go be scared anyways. Well, look at the beautiful scenery. It's not beautiful. It's just like all crops and stupid... Yellow grass. I just almost gonna say purple. Doesn't actually look too much different from here. Yeah, exactly. It's like home. No, it's not. It's like a scary zombie island with a hundred and sixteen year old ghost. What? If I fell down there. Are we just going back this way? I don't know, I just followed the path. What do you want from us, Gabe? That we don't run into the fence? Probably. Okay, well, that didn't really do much. Well, we went into the cave and that triggered something. Then we came over here and that triggered something. And now there's going to be like Native American ghosts shooting at us with arrows. It would not be that scary. Well, you'd have to run away though. Yes, true. So can you get back up here? No? Yes? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Can you Skyrim up? Uh, okay. Okay, so we're stuck here. My foot fell asleep. Ow. Oh, my other foot's falling asleep. I wish we could run. Yeah, that'd be nice. Especially in these times where it's like, I uh, don't know where to go. There's a hole in the bottom of the boat. He said that. No. So maybe there has to be a hole in the bottom of the boat, and then we have to go in and fight the hermits. <laughs> well, what are hermits, anyway? <laughs> Wasn't I... Didn't I... You were saying something about them, but I forgot. Oh, right, you interrupted me. Um, I always do. <laughs> See? So, and again. <laughs> uh, hermits. Still going. Is... You're hermits the are. The hermits are. You're just supposed to say hermits are, and I was just asking about one of them. <laughs> Maybe there's a path like on the side of the rocks there. Maybe. Probably not. Anyway, hermits are people who like live on their own in the middle of nowhere. And like So like loners. Extreme loners. Cool. So you could have explained that with just two words. Well, there's, there's, there's gotta be like something is. here because it's the only access point to water. It's right here. It's true. Or maybe not. <laughs> Check the other side again. Which one? This one? It, this, like side? Yeah, this side? This side. Just go along the boat. This side or that side? That this way. Take along the boat this way again. This keep this way. Now you're just. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I don't know. Neither do I. I'm just saying you should check the way with the stuff again. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's a zombie. A flatulent zombie. Maybe we can pull on that thing. 
maybe we can take actions. Yeah, we, we could have pulled on. It's a zombie. It's like pulling stuff and pushing stuff around. Maybe there's like, oops. There was something right here. Oh, it's just a grass. Hey, I'm noticing stuff, okay? Yeah, it's good. It's good. Maybe. Mm. Okay, so. There's nothing there. We can't go past here. Maybe? No. Maybe? No. Maybe. Maybe like through those ones? Maybe like on this? Come on, we should we're supposed to be on going up there. I think you can probably get up here. And but, then but what's with the what's with the penis? <laughs> I'm I I am very curious about that. Like that was very I don't know what they were trying to actually draw, probably not a penis. No, for sure not a penis. Is that like a path up there? Why not? No. Man. Probably over here. No. To the left. Well, maybe there is a part where you can walk up the mountain or something. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Start from the beginning. <laughs> and then just like slide along the I think maybe we can go like on the rocks and then through to that ship or something. Like that's an arrow. Come on. No, those are two little arrows on the left side. It's like a light tower and then there's two arrows in this direction or something. Mm. Oh. <laughs> I think this is on the other side. I think that was the boat that you were trying to swim to. Right. So. Well, where are we supposed to go? What are we supposed we to do? There's something down that path. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go along the side a little bit, so so we just so we have to roll it out. Okay. Hey, this looks. Oh. Yeah. I had kidney <laughs> stones, and you visited me in the hospital after the operation, when I was still half submerged in anesthetic. Your outline and your speech both blurred. Now my stones have grown into an island and made their escape, and you have been rendered opaque by the car of a drunk. What triggered that? I don't know. Oh! Is that a path? Another path? Like, look, stop and look around. The other direction. Okay, whatever. Keep going. So that. Like this is the other side of where the path was. Like this is the new path. Are you sure? Yes. No. Um, I wanted to be stuck. Why? Then there was nothing scary gonna happen. <laughs> We're gonna be killed by the car of a drunk zombie. With... What was it? Kidney stones? No, we have kidney stones. Ooh, this is creepy. What charnel house lies at the foot of this abyss? This, this scares me every time. How many time. dead shepherds could fill this hole? Dead shepherds? Shepherds? Gods? Okay. Yep. Come back. <laughs> well, that's... Where the fuck are we? Good question. Oh, we're right by the hole. Is that you're going? No, I'm going around the hole. Let's do that now. We, we came from over there. Oh, okay. And then we fell in, so we're just like... Is that house? Yeah, I think so. Cool! No. You're playing in the house. It's a small house. There's dead shepherds in there. Oh, there's another house. Fuck it. <laughs>
I had begun my ascent on the green slope of the western side. I looked deep into the mountain from the shaft, and understood that I must go up and then find the way under. I will stash the last vestiges of my civilization in the stone walls and work deeper from there. I'm drawn by the area and the cliff edge. There is some form of rebirth waiting for me there. Well, I've already played for a whole episode. That means that soon it's your turn. Yeah. Oh yeah, I think it, the uh Well, that's like a sacrificial thing or something? Looks like it. Or a grave. It was like a human thing. Okay, 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 I'm not looking at it anymore. <laughs> Or not. Welcome to the operating room. So sanitary and unique. No, don't stop music. Misplaced. I don't like that music. I just, I don't like it. Can I have this kept like, I can. <laughs> the buffet was constructed originally in the early 1700s. By then, shepherding had formalized into a career. The first habitual shepherd was a man called Jacobson from a lineage of migratory Scandinavians. He was not considered a man of breeding by the mainlanders. He came here every summer whilst building the boffy, hoping eventually that becoming a man of property would secure him a wife of a lineage. Donnelly records that it did not work. He caught some disease from his malcontented goats and died two years after completing it. There was no one to carve white lines into the cliff for him either. Sad story. <laughs> Don't like the houses? No. Mm. Oh, I like that one. Oh. What? That's just arrows. Same. No, there's one missing here in the middle. Don't we like have a notebook or something so we can write down stuff about penises? Found wall painting of glowing penises. There's a cave. Yeah, let's go to the house first though. <sighs> if it's scary, I'll press escape and throw the keyboard at your face. Uh I would rather not have my keyboard broken. Oh hey, it's a uh, heart. Really good really heart. My intestines. Uh, I scrambles. Rocher test. Why do we even have to go into the house? We can't interact with anything, anyways. Well. Obviously, when you go into the house, you will be able to, in this one. When the oil lamps ran out, I didn't pick up a torch, but used the moonlight to read by. When I've pulled the last shreds of sense from it, I will throw Donnelly's book from the cliffs, and perhaps myself with it. Maybe it will wash back up through the caves and erupt from the spring when the rain comes, making its return to the hermit's cave. Perhaps it will be back on the table when I wake. I think I may have thrown it into the sea several times before. What book? The Bible? Oh, that would make sense. Wait, there's something here. Just a glass. Oh, 
Hmm. Come on, it's not that scary yet. Yeah, fuck you. Ultrasound? Yeah. Are we pregnant? Yeah, for sure. Through our anus. We have... We have too much anal sex. And that inevitably leads to pregnancy? Yeah. Is there a dead body under there? No! Oh, the door closed or something. The other Doubt one. It. There's an open door to the outside right there, so that's well, not point. It's just like somebody's in there now. I just want to go away from the house now. I was in there, you know, and like everything was good, and everything sucked. It was like scary as hell. The wrong way, isn't it? No, no it's, it's right. The, it's not, it's not the wrong. But that's not the way to to the cave, though. Well, I think the cave you saw was like the box here. No, the cave was up there. Oh. I don't give it a figure the cave might be important. I mean, there could be more penises and more anal feathers that might be that might be really important for us. Yeah. Somehow I don't think you can survive that one. What? The fall. But he was talking about throwing himself into the sea. Yep. So it could just be like bringing the story forward. He also talked about a hole in the boat. He left his body to the medical school and was duly opened out for a crowd of students 21 days after his passing. The report is included in my edition of his book. The syphilis had torn through his guts like a drunk driver, scrambling his organs like eggs on a plate. But enough definition remained for a cursory examination, and, as I suspected, they found clear evidence of kidney stones. He's likely to have spent the last years of his life in considerable pain. Perhaps this is the root of his laudanum habit. Although its use makes him an unreliable witness, I find myself increasingly drawn into his orbit. It's just like he talks. I just... I don't even listen to him. Like, I don't understand anything he's saying. Kidney stones. Cool. Yeah. And syphilis. Deadly Isn't that like an STD? Yes. Yes, it is. So we are talking about anal sex here. Yep. Clearly. They found Jacobson in early spring. The thaw had only just come. Even though he'd been dead nearly seven months, his body had been frozen right down to the nerves and had not even begun to decompose. All around him, small flowers were reaching for the weak sun. The goats had adjusted happily to life without a shepherd and were grazing freely about the valley. Donnelly reports they hurled the body in fear and disgust down the shaft. But I cannot corroborate this story. What is a traffic cone doing here? Good question. Maybe from a boat somewhere? I just... I just don't want to go the other way. There's a cave there again. <laughs> the last cave wasn't bad. But it was a cave, nevertheless. Yeah. And I don't like caves. Oh, princess. Love you. I know. See, stupid fool. Hmm. Don't swear on YouTube because nobody else does that either. <laughs> now you say <laughs> I don't try to be child friendly on my channel. Cool. 
You can pick that up. Oh hey, it's uh someone's building a boat. Someone's let a boat decay, rather. There's like a lot of packages. There are. Laying around here. It's like the first game that is just weird enough not to let you interact with anything. Yeah, I wonder if that's going to change or if this is literally just going to be walking through weird places. Climbing down to the caves, I slipped and fell and have injured my leg. I think the femur is broken. That's a femur. It is clearly infected. The skin has turned a bright, tight pink, and the pain is crashing in on waves, winter tides against my shoreline, drowning out the ache of my stones. I struggled back to the bothy to rest, but it has become clear that there is only one way this is likely to end. The medical supplies I looted from the trawler have suddenly found their purpose. They will keep me lucid for my final ascent. Oh, that was creepy. So do you want to go to the cave or the crag? That's Her? Her? Watch her. <laughs> no one understands. No, but he will. And then he'll be like, hey, there's something blinking there. Do you think he's made it this far? What? I said, do you think he's made it this far? I was going to send him a link to like five seconds before. Ah, I see. Or I'll like force him to watch several series and stuff on, from your channel and then be like, on one of the series, there's going to be a reference to you. Funny texture. Yep. Okay, well. Say something, computer person? <laughs> Come on, you have to comment on that suitcase laying back there. He doesn't comment on anything that's happening. Well, who cares? He is talking. This is true. My toes red. See that? Yep. It's weird. Oh, that? My toe is so much more interesting than this game. Interesting or not a scary cave? Well, I know I wasn't even thinking about that cave right now. So isn't this a great place to like end part two? You know what? It actually probably is. But the cave is golden. Yep. Okay, let's stop here. Like this. No, no, I need to figure out what this is first. Well, that's what you find out in the next episode. It's what keeps people coming back. But they don't want to come back. I mean, we don't yes, have they to. Do. No, they don't. If they've made it this far, they're going to want to come back. There's a camel there. Okay, we've got to, like, zoom out. No. Okay. <laughs> this is it? Yeah. Okay. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.